Hi, it's Peg and Dezon. Basketball Wives! Alright, we have a lot to talk about this episode. Tasha is in the fold. She's starting to meet these wives and get to know them. And we, we're seeing, I think we're seeing, again, I'm new to the show, but we're seeing the seeds of, of uh, discontent are being sown in these first couple of episodes. Yes. Um, but before we dive in, let's, uh, I want to remind you guys to please subscribe to our channel and rate our videos. If you like them, great. If you don't, let us know. Leave us comments um, and tell us what you think. Absolutely. And make sure to catch the other videos on our YouTube channel. Let's talk about Tasha's dinner. So this episode, we return to Tasha's dinner after Susie asks the question about Stefan Marbury and the chef incident. Tasha answers the question and she says it is true. It did happen. And she handles it quite gracefully because a stranger comes into your home and asks you a very personal question about your current marriage or even a previous marriage, but your current marriage. And Tasha was very nice in answering the question. But oh, Susie can't stop there. Susie says, was she attractive? <laughs> it's like, hilarious. It's like, really, Susie? Tasha was like, let's not even give that little girl that, that much time. We, she got her money. That's all the time she needs to get. Really? But then Susie keeps going even further. She says, when I had nannies, I always made sure that they were 50 and older, you know, that they were unattractive. I was thinking to myself, Susie, that clearly didn't help. <laughs> Tasha and her attractive chef and her basketball husband are all still right intact. Tasha still lives in her home. She's still married to her man, albeit in China, but she still has one. And you, my friend, with your old nannies are by yourself. Well, what about Tammy, who put Susie up to this whole thing, completely throwing her under the bus? Tammy is at that table chewing with attitude. That's how you know you have attitude in life. When you can bring a fork to your mouth and just be chewing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I, you know, well, I mean, Tasha, I just, I really think that that's a personal matter. Right. You know? See, when I watched this whole sequence, all I could think of was Nene and all those other housewives from other shows were like, look, you can't just roll up on one of these shows and show up all fabulous and think you're going to have an easy time of it. Because right. we done paid our dues and it's your turn to pay dues. Hazing. It is, <laughs> it is reality television hazing time. And Tasha, my friend, you are getting hazed. Right. As Debbie Allen used to say in fame, fame costs. And right here is where you start paying. You sweat. <laughs> and that is exactly what they try to do to these girls. They try to make them sweat. So, but Tasha was not sweating. No. She was like, I'm happy to discuss this. I'm not going to discuss it all season. I'll answer all your questions right now. We're good. It's in the past. Moving on. And that was it. And then Susie, of course, feels badly after the fact because Tammy threw her under the bus. And she also doesn't want Tasha to dislike her. So she and Tasha go have dinner together or lunch or something and they kind of sort things out. We also see Tasha and Susie in the limo together going to Evelyn's birthday party a little later in the episode. And the two of them have a little shade to throw in Evelyn's direction. <laughs> talking about maybe Evelyn should wear a helmet on her next date. And I was like, no, y'all didn't. It's a bit soon, ladies. It's a bit soon to make those kind of jokes. I'm wondering what Tasha, you don't even know Evelyn. What's the no no, no they've been friends. Oh they've been friends. Yeah, oh, Evelyn, okay. Evelyn and Tasha have been friends for Got years. It. But I'm but I'm still trying to figure out what's the statute of limitations on domestic violence jokes? <laughs> Like, how long after you got your behind beat am I allowed to be like, girl, you remember that time you beat your behind? <laughs> like, what's Never. The, what, what's the time frame? Never. That was, it's not funny. In future episode, I saw a preview where Evelyn is talking to Susie about that very scene in the limo because apparently, you know, Susie, who likes to tell all, goes to Evelyn and repeats the situation. So we'll see if Evelyn and Tasha fall out over this. Well, we did start to see a little bit of a fallout happen between Tammy and Shawnee. Oh, yes. Tammy took Shawnee to the park, this beautiful scene in New York, and she basically said, listen, what is this that I've heard that you told Tasha me coming to the dinner might go well and might not go well? Which is completely true. I was on Team Shawnee 110% in this. It absolutely can. Tammy is unpredictable and based on past behavior, things can go phenomenally well. 
Or you can get your behind beat in your own living room. So as a new viewer to the show, I was on Team Tammy because I was like, she's right. She has the right to meet a new person without any sort of bias put in that person's mind about, you know, there's a potential for disaster just meeting Tammy. But is Tasha living in Budapest? I mean, she <laughs> she can watch the show. She can see Tammy's right. behavior. So why does she need Shawnee giving her any kind of like preview? But she asked. Tasha asked Shawnee, you know, what, how do you think things are going to go between Tammy and I? And Shawnee's response was, it could go really well or it could go really poorly. Well, Shawnee stood by it. She was like, I stand by my statement. And, but, then, and Tammy said, and we'll just agree to disagree. Yeah. So. <laughs> and then we saw Shawnee and Evelyn discussing Tammy's behavior during that scene. And I was cracking up because Shawnee was like, you know how Tammy gets when she gets real slow? Yes. She says, Shawnee, we have something to discuss. Mm -hmm. And she was doing the and she and Shawnee was like, I was just like, come on, get on with it. What you got to say? Get yep. it out, girl. Come Tammy's on. Tammy's eyes get real low. Mm -hmm. <laughs> eyes ain't even open all the way. Jaw gets tight, like Shawnee said, mm, we have a problem. <laughs> so we'll see what brews between the two of them, but in the preview for the upcoming episode, I see Tammy in a Run DMC tracksuit on Evelyn's couch talking about she'll pop Shawnee in the face. And I was like, oh no. So right. that's next. She's telling Evelyn she loves Shawnee, but so. I'll hit her. Let's see it, bring it on, bring it on. All right, so uh, what I, Talk about Susie's life crisis again new to the show I don't really know Susie but she's talking to her cousin she's like I'm getting plastic surgery talking about you know when she was in her 20s she never had to do anything with her life it was all taken care of she had much more than anyone else now she's got much less her brothers are doing well in life but she's sort of left out to dry the thing is is if you're going to live a tricking lifestyle you gotta keep drinking Susie you can't stop that's the thing what about if she just fell in love with somebody why does it have to be a tricking lifestyle girl please <laughs> come on hey, girl please I, I don't know I, I feel bad for the girl she says she's gonna go back to college she looks a little old for college but you know good luck you are never too old to get an education well I suppose. <laughs> you are never too old to get an education. Susie can go back to college. My problem with Susie, though, is that she continues to articulate her early years as if she was a victim of some extraordinary circumstance. You're a young girl who decided to get with a man who had a good amount of money. You didn't do anything for yourself during that time, but party and hang out and spend his money, pop out a few kids. And I don't know if he's not paying child support right now or he doesn't have the capacity to do so. Whatever the case may be, get up by your bootstraps and stop whining. Let's go. <laughs> so Evelyn has a birthday party sponsored yes. by PETA. Yes. I was wondering which shop right they got that cake from. <laughs> that was my first question. My second question was, in order to be a PETA spokesperson, do you only just not have to wear fur? Because I don't own any fur. Do you own any fur? I don't own fur. By virtue of the fact that we can't afford it, but we can be PETA spokespeople. Well, I think that, I mean, PETA's big thing is fur. They, they don't have a problem with leather or... Like anything else, really. I don't care what you do otherwise. You can even own a farm and slaughter cows. As long as you don't wear fur, we're good to go. Right. And we see that Tammy doesn't show up to the party. And there's a lot of speculation about why. And that she was herself trying to get a Peter spokesman role. Yes. And they chose Evelyn over her and she's not showing up because she's pissed off. And I'm like... Are people really fighting that hard over PETA? I mean, isn't that like really played out at this point, being a PETA spokesperson? No, PETA is the, it's the D-list celebrities coup de gras. That's what All you right. do. That's what you do is get a PETA ad. Well, I guess it's more, it's classier than Playboy. Although Evelyn did ask to be in Playboy this episode. She's like, you know, it was great that I got to do PETA. It'll do until Playboy calls. Right. <laughs> so... Speaking of Evelyn, let's talk about Evelyn and the therapist. Yes. Right? So Evelyn goes to see her therapist. Therapist just, I mean, I don't want to talk too much more about this Evelyn and Chad situation, but I thought the therapist said something interesting. 
Based on the story you're telling me, something sounds incomplete. I'm having a hard time believing this story in the way that you're telling this story, which is what I feel like a lot of people have felt up until this point. Evelyn retold her story. However, the therapist just looked very speculative. Honestly, my eyes glazed over. She's crying again. Then they showed me the slow-mo montage of Chad Ochocinco. And I was like, if these people do not stop talking about this situation, I am, I cannot take one more second. I, I barely listened to that. I'm not even going to lie to you. All right, well then let's talk very briefly before we wrap up about Tammy, her mother, and hospice. Oh, Lord. That could have been one of the most uncomfortable conversations I've ever seen anyone have about their parent in a long time. I, I mean, I was like, first of all, you say the woman's dying of liver cancer. How much you're going to miss her? And, it, you know, I'm sure it's a terrible way to go. How much you love her? And you're talking about, well, what, sh what should I do for this special day? Should How devastated you're going to be? To the shopping, to the movies, to the spa. And then they talk about what happens to happen with hospice, either the hospice Either mom goes to hospice or hospice comes to them. And her and her daughters were like, well, I don't want to see that. Oh, no, I'm not trying to come home to no hospice. <laughs> it's just like, it's like shut wow. up. Your, your mother shut and grandmother up. is dying of liver cancer. Shut up. And you guys are worried about how you might be inconvenienced by the fact that. And, and they told her that her, she was in her last days. Yes. It's not like you know, we're gonna be in hospice for the next two decades. They told her, you need to prepare for your mother's death. We saw Tammy crying over that very fact. Right. And you have the opportunity to spend some time at home with your mother in her last days. So, and she says, we're gonna put her in hospice. They don't want it. They want her to die quietly over there. <laughs> don't, don't, don't be all sad. Don't die, die right in, here. In my don't house. die right here. Cause that might be depressing. Die over there. Die over there. Oh you. Lord. That was tough. That was a Woo. doozy. I was like, these are some cold hearted like, people. It's a good thing that that lady didn't have an opportunity to see that episode. Oh. Lord have mercy. Yes. Rest her soul. Very sad. All right. We will uh, catch you guys next week with more Basketball Wives. Yes. And please remember, subscribe to our channel. Yes, like this video and make sure to check out the other videos on our channel. Bye. Bye.